my last video, you guys gave me some ideas for testing out the ARC B580 here. This is the new Battle Mage card from Intel. And needless to say, that video has been delayed because we've had some problems. As you can see here, I've got my whole test bench torn apart. Well, today I finally got fed up and decided to put this card in a different system because I was unable to get it to boot on the bench. Let me tell you what I did to fix it. So our main issue was that the machine would turn on, but it wouldn't actually post. It would fail, and then we'd get a debug LED that said VGA on this board. I swapped a bunch of things around, pulled the GPU out entirely. This is a 12900K in here, so I ran like just off the graphics. It didn't matter what I did, it just wouldn't boot. So I finally gave up and I grabbed my stealth build here. This is an 8600G like Uber blackout budget build. And I put the ARC B580 in here instead. And luckily this particular system has a AMD 8600G CPU. So it has onboard graphics, right? And I ran into the same problem I was having over there, but actually the debug LED was for boot, not for VGA. And that's when things started to kind of get interesting. Well, it turns out if you use Windows to go, Windows to go actually formats your hard drive in such a way to where it uses MBR or master boot record in order to be detected. And oddly enough, and I don't know why this affects the graphics card, these new Intel cards do not suffer well with CSM or legacy boot enabled, which is what you need in order to boot off of MBR. So what you're gonna wanna do, if you're in a situation where you've already installed the card and you have a black screen and you took the card out and you still have a black screen, what you need to do is basically reset the BIOS. So you can do that by um, just hitting the jumper post here. There should be a jumper in there called JBATT. You can short that or you can remove the little battery and, and, and leave it out for about 15 seconds and then put it back in. As you can see here, I've freshly reset this BIOS and these are default settings and the default screen that you get. If you look down here, you'll see UEFI is enabled by default. So you should be fine here, but if for some reason it's not enabled by, by default on your BIOS, you're gonna wanna hit F7. I'm gonna go to settings and then go to advanced. And then you're gonna go down here to BIOS CSM UEFI mode and make sure you have selected UEFI, not CSM. What you can do though, is there are plenty of utilities out there or even command line utilities in Windows where you can convert your drive from MBR to UEFI, and then you won't have this problem anymore. You won't need CSM. And uh, you can go on about your day using your ARC B580. All right, so here's the moment of truth to see if I'm right. Let's go ahead and power this puppy on. Our BIOS settings updated, and we have no legacy ROMs connected. Bingo. Be sure to subscribe if you're not, so that you can see all the tests that I ran for uh, the fellow subscribers of the channel here. We're going to be doing some interesting experiments with this little uh, ARC B580. And then when we're all done, we're definitely going to take it apart. Also, be sure to tune in at 9 p.m. Eastern Saturday nights. I'll be live with Kings Island to answer your tech-related questions. And in the meantime, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.